Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. For those of you who don't know, I started Grumpy Old Fart to express my political and social opinions and to say things that I felt needed to be said. Unfortunately, YouTube, YouTube started giving me strikes. As a hedge against this happening, I have created backup YouTube channels, Grumpy Old Gamer and Grumpy Old Ufologist. I also created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can find all of my stuff there, including my political opinion and current events. The link to my Rumble channel, as well as links to, to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Uh, I want to apologize in advance, I'm still fighting that cold. <clears throat> so if I break out into a cough or, or need to take a drink or something in the middle of this, bear with me, please. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing a recon of the role-playing game story called Breach of Contract. Back in 1995, I was running a game of uh, it was, uh, characters in Vietnam, and I was running it. Or, uh, excuse me, I wasn't running it. My friend, I was playing it. My friend Larry was running it. Uh, my other friend Edward wanted to run a recon game, but he said he wanted to run a mercenary game right after Vietnam. Larry's game had pretty well, we, we'd done everything, you know, that we could do. So we all had characters. So Larry decided to make up a character and play, and Ed, we, we were going to let Edward run the same characters in the recon game after Vietnam. We were going to become mercenaries. Uh, <coughs> after Vietnam our various characters had difficulty adjusting to civilian life and this was common very common place at the time it was a good segue into the mercenary work Edward set up the game and so one of his NPCs who we'd all known in in Vietnam offered us all jobs the pay was really good so I said I would hear him out he needed guards for some illicit shipments from Mexico so we were going to be smuggling. I told him that I would not have anything to do with drug trafficking, no matter what the pay. And he agreed. He agreed wholeheartedly. And I said, uh, are you sure now? Because I don't want to, have, you know, that's one thing I will never do, period. Um, he explained that he brought in weapons from Mexico to a contact in California who shipped them out to Asia. I said, cool, whatever. Money was good and the setup virtually guaranteed that I wouldn't have to shoot anyone. And I, I was good with that. So we guarded a shipment a week for four months. And everything was going pretty good. Until one day, our convoy was ambushed. <clears throat> our characters fought them off, but when we got a good look at them, they were all DEA. Now, ATF, I could understand. FBI, even, or, or even CIA. You know, the spooks. I, I could understand that. But DEA, something was wrong. We all figured something was wrong. We checked out the cargo, and they were crates and crates of M16s and AK-47s and other small arms, grenades, C4, that kind of thing. We dug further down and found false bottoms in the crates. He was smuggling cocaine into the U.S. That, that, that wasn't going to cut it with us. The whole group was like that. We talked it out and decided that he needed to be taught a lesson in business. Don't lie to your security. We delivered the convoy, and when he took possession, we got our money, and on the way out, our, demo guy, our demolitions guy punched the remote detonator, and all eight trucks went up. Edward had to come up with an entirely new game. And people go, well, you know, if you're paid to, to watch a, a shipment, you know, it doesn't matter what's in it. Well, yeah, it does matter what's in it. You know, if you're sending guns to people to, to finance a war or whatever, it's not good. But cocaine goes after little kids, and they sell that in America, and that ain't good. So that was our line in the sand, and, and he crossed it. He lied to us. So, yeah, we, we, weren't, we weren't happy about that. So we, we took the appropriate action, or what we felt was the appropriate action. He, we, the way we figured it, he breached the contract. At any rate... I hope this finds everybody well. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.